Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Luciano Ferreira, who is the Vice Chair of Study Group 4, the ITUR Study Group on Satellite Services, and also Telecommunication Specialist for Anatel, which is the National Telecommunications Agency for Brazil. Luciano, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Why is this uh, event important and what, what importance does it have in particular for Brazil, for the Brazilian delegation that you're, you're part yes, of? Yes, uh, there are several items that we are, we are attending. And uh, for example, uh, 1.5 zims. It's very, very important for us because it, we, we already have some station operating in the FSS exclusive bands, but uh, having all the KA band, it will be very, very nice for us. We, it will enlarge our capacity. And for example, issue A, uh, it's, it's one of the most popular and most difficult. And uh, in Brazil, we don't have yet an uh, NGSO system, a Brazilian NGSO system, but it seems that it, this is the future. So we want to be prepared. So non geostationary satellites yeah, orbiting systems. Yeah, they right? bring into use the milestones. Right. Yeah, and also issue I, because uh, we are receiving a lot of uh, requests from universities, uh, universities in Brazil to send filings to ITU and uh, having the boundaries that will, will, will be approved here is the, it, it is important for us. So we can, we can um, classify if it's a, a short duration mission or not. Okay, for those who are not attending the conference who won't know anything about issue I's and 10.1.3's and, 10 point one point threes and one, uh, tell, yeah. tell, what, what is issue I for example? Issue I, it's a, a modified regulation for uh, short duration mission satellites, so uh, non-GSO uh, so short duration mission satellites. And uh, issue A is about the milestones, it's the NGSO milestones. What does that mean? Uh, they are going to, to set some milestones for the launch of the constellations. So, for example, we are, we are supporting the, the CITEL IAP that uh, the first milestone will be in three years, 10% of the, the, the whole constellation launched. Uh, five, in five years, 50% uh, of the constellation launched. And in, in seven years, 100% of the constellation. So uh, we are here discussing, discussing that because uh, we are supporting the, the CTL IAP, but the other regional groups are not supporting this. So we'll have to, to discuss about and try to, to find a way forward. When you're with your friends or when you're with people who aren't involved in the industry, how do you explain the work here? Well, how do you explain what's, what's going on here exactly? Well, I, I think that we are shaping the future. We are trying to forecast what will happen in the future and try to find a regulation that will uh, set the boundaries, you know. So we are here to work a lot. <laughs> and how does this affect the general public? Well, uh, in Brazil, uh, we, the, satel the satellite is very, very important. That's why I, I'm now the new vice chair of the satellite group in ITU. So, and the, the country is very, very big. And when we decide here what we are going to do in the future, we are trying to enlarge our capacity of Brazil. So this will affect the, the, the customers, the final customers. And what is, it, what is, in terms of connectivity, what are the main challenges in Brazil at the moment? The, the, the size of the country, it is very, very big. And uh, the, the most of the operators want to, to cover only the places that has a lot of people, like in the coast. But uh, we also have some, pla some places in Brazil, for example, in Amazon, that we don't have this coverage. And this is our, our goal, to, f to find a way to cover the people remote places. So not necessarily terrestrial infrastructure, but, but infrastructure exactly in, in, yeah. in, in, in the Spain space. Uh, well, so I wanted to, coming back to the, your work uh, as, uh, as vice chair of, uh, of the ITUR study group which on, on satellite services, what, what exactly happens in, this, in these study groups and why, why is, is that work important and how is it feeding into uh, your, your, your daily work as well? 
Yes, in uh, uh, SG4, it's the satellite, uh, the satellite service group, and in ITUR, uh, we study all the, the the parameters to support the agenda items. So uh, we, in the last uh, cycle, the last four-year cycle, we studied all the the parameters that support the agenda items, and here we are deciding which parameters we are going to use. So it's very, very important to go to the, the study groups and uh, participate in the decisions. How many people are involved in these study groups? Your, your, your study group, for example. Yeah, uh, I'm the, the rapporteur of the 4A in Brazil. And uh, about 200 people go to 4A. And I have two other people that also are report, uh, uh, reporters of the 4B and 4C. But in 4A is where all the, almost all the agenda items are studied. So it's very, very important for us. And how often do you meet? Uh, I believe twice a year. This year we, didn't, we only have one meeting because of the CPM in the beginning of the year. So it's twice a year. So you're also involved in the conference preparatory meeting yeah. as well yeah. for this conference here. Yeah. And uh, just in terms of uh, this conference, uh, WRC 19, what do you hope some of the outcomes will be from this? I hope that 1.5 enzymes be approved. 1.5 is? Yeah, 1.5. We find a way forward for issue A in uh, agenda item uh, 7 of the, the milestones, the bring it of milestones, okay. we, we find a way forward. Okay, so 1.5, just explain what 1.5 is. 1.5 is in the earth station motion in the KA band. Right. Okay, and uh, the issue, I, uh, I hope that there is a, a, a regulation, a, a strong regulation, so we can set the boundaries in Brazil. Thank you very much for joining us and all the best uh, with the, your work in the study group and, and the rest of the conference too. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Cheers.